I really need this hug from Mason right now. He just crawled up and put himself there. This Mason cat of ours is so intuitive and so loving. He knows that I'm really sad, and you can probably see it in my eyes. But Sadie, our yellow lab, passed away today. And so this is a short, a very short video just to update my regular viewers of what has happened. And uh, the long story short, the degenerative disease that Sadie has in her bones and muscles just took over and got into her back and she lost all muscular tone of her rear end or she lost the feeling in her hind side. And she's been compensating so hard to compensate for her sh front shoulder of her front leg for a couple months. We even took her in for acupuncture and chiropractic care and laser heat and um, also got some cortisone injection a couple weeks ago. I gave a long vlog about that. It was too long. <laughs> and um, so we, we've been trying. We've been trying to re rehabilitate Sadie. And I'm just sad to say that our family gathered today at the veterinary service and we uh, we all said goodbye to Sadie it, there's just no recovering from this and so we had to make a very tough decision but it was actually an easy decision because Sadie is a very dignified dog doesn't want to be cared for or doted over by other people she doesn't want to be sitting in her own feces or urine and that was starting to happen she she had no control anymore and, and as far as the ability to get up and go outside, um, basically lost all mobility. She couldn't even sit, and she definitely couldn't walk. So I'll show you some clips of how things developed over the past few days. But basically, we got to go out on the dock, and I, I thought it was the beginning of the season. That was in, that, That's what was in my mind. And we walked out to the dock and sat and took pictures. I'll show you that clip here. Sadie's here with me right now. We're having one-on-one -on -one time, aren't we, Sadie? This is Sadie's very... This is Sadie's very favorite place to be on the face of the earth. And I can see why. I think it's mine, too. It's one of my favorite places. Being with Sadie is my favorite place. Yes. Oh, sweetie pie. You'll be swimming soon. This water is just too cold right now. Yeah. You'll be in that water chugging along with your life jacket. Stand up. Oh, she's so sore today. Yeah. you got another treatment coming in a week. Next week, honey. Let's we'll see if we can fix you up. It's not, it's not really helping her. But maybe some swim therapy will do it. And as we turned to walk back into the house, Sadie, in her dog way, communicated to me that this was the last time out on the dock. And she meant it. She knew it. I didn't. I wasn't ready for that. I didn't want to hear it. And, but I, I think even in the video clip, I might have even said that. Something to the effect of she doesn't want to come in to the house. She didn't want to leave that moment with me. And that somehow I felt like she was communicating that she would not be back. I, I, I'm not ready for this. I, I had the hopes and dreams that Sadie would get through this summer at least one more season and be out swimming. But um, with the... With the bad shoulder, she's unable to put any pressure on her front left paw at all, her whole leg. And it's been that way for months. You've seen her limping around in the videos. And now her back went out and, and this, her rear side had no... She can't even sit up. And so I guess it wasn't the hard decision because for her dignity, she doesn't want to be... Uh, unable to move. She doesn't want to be hospitalized. She doesn't want to be um, feeling in so much pain. Sadie loved the freedom and loved the love that we have in this family. She loved the freedom to just do what she wanted to do as a pup. She's always my puppy in my heart, even though she was quite old. 
and she had a very broken body and she um, she left today with people surrounding her with love and she had her full mind there she wanted to play and she just couldn't get up and she was so frustrated I'm waiting for the vet appointment I decided to put Sadie up here on the bed in our guest bedroom for one more nap with me we used to do this in the camper all the time Sadie is not allowed in our bed at home but Sadie is definitely welcome in our camper bed because she'd stay warm with us and a lot of times I'd be out in the yard just enjoying the day and I'd go in the camper go in for a little nap I'd take Sadie up on on the bed in the camper with me and we'd just snuggle in the sun take a nice nap just like we're doing now and this is rare but Mason doesn't often snuggle with Sadie but he crawled up on his own totally on his own and Mason's hanging out with us too taking a nap with us together it's a beautiful moment beautiful memories I'm gonna sleep right next to my puppy and remember all the good times we can't get into the urgent care appointment for a few hours so what better thing to do than Sadie's just trying to get us all to hang out together. Yeah, I'm just trying to get us all just in together. case she has a break. We're like, these guys need to hang out more. Okay, <laughs> kind of gotta get the family together. And Amanda just got <laughs> in too. And Sadie's all. As soon as Amanda got in, Sadie was all energetic and happy to see Amanda and nibbling on her sleeves like she does. Yeah, she looks like she's about to sleep. <laughs> Coda's hanging out. He wants to know what's going on. Sadie has um, her, I think her medications make her really tired too. Yeah. But she's also had almost no energy the last few days. So what do you say? She's like basically paralyzed back here. Yeah. Yeah. Like I try and set her up to get her to see if she can walk, but she looks so embarrassed that I just don't want to do that so to she her. she can't even stand? No, not at all. She can't stand at all. If I if I put her up she, on her feet, she'll stand on her knuckles like that. It's because she can't even feel that. And I've tried testing to see if she has any feeling back here, and she mm -hmm. doesn't at all. You got kitties hanging out with you, Sadie? And you got Amanda hanging out with you? Coda wants to know if Sadie's okay. She looks okay, Coda. Yeah. I think the cats can sense that she's just not doing well. Yeah. <laughs> Coda's happy to see you, too. <laughs> Sadie girl, yes. She, Sadie very much appreciates me laying on the floor with her. Yes. You're a good girl. Huh? The snuggles? Huh? I love you. So many people watch you, Sadie. They've loved you for so many years. Yeah, you're a good puppy. You're a good girl. I love you so much. Such a good girl. You're a good puppy. You've been my buddy for a long time. You've been so good to this family. And lots of YouTubers love you. Yeah. There's so many people that enjoy watching you. You put a lot of joy in a lot of people's lives. Especially mine. Yeah. Remember when you uh, didn't want to learn to swim? I can't imagine. <laughs> Can you imagine there was a day you didn't want to swim? You hated the water? Well, hi there. Look who came to see those kitties love you, too. You've been so good to the kitties. <laughs> Sadie, sweetheart, we're going to release you from all this pain and suffering, honey. Bye. We love you so much. 
give out so many memories and so much grace. So, yeah, I don't know. I said it would be a short video, but I just want to update those of you who are my regular viewers and Sadie's regular viewers that Sadie has gone over the, as they say, the Rainbow Bridge. Sadie's out swimming in the lake, the great big lake, the one that she's always dreamed of right now. And she's joined with Sammy, our cat, that passed away several years ago. It's a very hard day for all of us. So thank you all for the, all the sweet, supportive comments you've made over the many years about Sadie. She lives on in our videos. When you're